Good day and welcome to the Flux Immersive channel. Today we are going to explore mixing in Dolby Atmos with the EarCam Verb plugin. The EarCam Verb represents the state of the art in room acoustic simulation and reverberation. In addition to its signal processing resulting from decades of research by EarCam Acoustic and Connective Space Team, Verb is one of the rare reverb engines capable of being used for multi-channel and immersive mixing like Dolby Atmos. It is halfway between a reverberation and a specialization engine and at the foundation of Flux flagship SPAT Revolution immersive software. Today, we'll take a look at setting up a Dolby Atmos mixing session in Pro Tools Ultimate using EarCam Verb as the reverb. The same approach is possible with other DAWs supporting multi-channel tracks like 712. In order for you to listen, we will use the Ear plugin allowing to banalize a multi-channel feed. Listening with headphone is therefore strongly recommended. So here we are in a Pro Tools session with a few mono and stereo tracks. We will make sure that these tracks are routed to a 7.1.2 bed track that we've created or that we are using from a Dolby template. This is our direct sound signal path. For the reverberation, we are going to rely on an auxiliary tracks, also in a 712 format. Next, we will insert the Verb plugin on this track. If we go to the Setup section, we see that the correct format and channel order is automatically detected in some DAWs like Pro Tools. On our Reverb Aux track, let's make sure it is routed to the 712 main output bed. We are now going to use the send of one of our audio track to route to this Reverb engine. Note that in Pro Tools Ultimate, the 3D panner of the output bus and the 3D panner of the aux send are completely independent. This can be very useful for locating the reverb somewhere else in the source placement. That said, you can simply use the follow main pan function and have all your tracks going into the reverb to follow the placement on your main pan. Now we just need to turn up the send fader and we are ready to use Ircam Verm for Dolby Atmos Mix. For other mixing formats, such as 5171 and others, the process remains the same. You just have to choose the right bus format for your reverb track. Other DAWs support multi-channel mixing, such as Nundo. In Nundo, the process is more or less the same. It has the notion of a track format type. If you'd like to see more tutorials on how to use Verb with your DAW environment, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Click, share, like, and subscribe to be alerted when the next videos are published. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And see you next time.